ADAT, MADI, and DANTE. These are three of the most powerful ways to expand the number of inputs and outputs on a studio, broadcast, or live sound system. In this video, I want to help you gain a bit of experience with these tools and teach you how and when you might use them. I've teamed up with RME for this video, as they have products and software that make setting up ADAT, MADI, and Dante very straightforward and easy to understand. But if you have one of these connections on your own interface or console, the information in this video will still apply. The most common way to expand the inputs or outputs of an audio interface is ADAT. ADAT allows you to send up to eight channels of audio from one device to another with a single optical cable. Here's a common scenario of where ADAT might be used. Let's say I'm using this RME Babyface Pro FS. It's a USB interface that has two mic line inputs, two instrument line inputs, and two line outputs. In a scenario where I'm recording a vocal and guitar performance, two microphone inputs are usually sufficient. But in scenarios where I need to record more than two microphones, I'll need to find a way to add more microphone preamps to my system. I could buy a standalone microphone preamp with analog outputs, which would go between the microphone inputs and one of the line inputs on the interface. Alternatively, I could use the ADAT input on the interface. Many standalone mic preamps have ADAT outputs, including this RME 12 mic Dante. The ADAT output on the back of this microphone preamp sends the audio through the optical cable encoded as a series of light pulses. You can see the reflection of the optical signal by shining it against a dull surface. Encoded in these pulses of light are eight channels of up to 48 kilohertz digital audio. And if I wanted to use a higher sample rate, I could configure the system for four channels up to 96 kilohertz or two channels up to 192 kilohertz. Opening up the total mix software that comes with each RME interface, I can see the microphone signals coming in on eight at channels one through eight. But when I listen to these signals with headphones, it's clear that something is not right. ADAT is not a bi-directional format when using only one cable like this. That means that the signal and the word clock information only flow in one direction, and that's the problem we're hearing. The solution is to change the clock source on my interface from internal, where it uses its own clock, to optical, where it uses the clock it receives through the ADAT port, in this case, the clock within the microphone preamp. Now, my clocks are locked, and all of my eight additional ADAT inputs sound crystal clear. All we need to do is open up the DAW, select the inputs of my tracks to the appropriate ADAT inputs on the audio interface, and start recording. You can also use ADAT to add outputs or inserts to your system. Over here, I've got a 500 series chassis with ADAT inputs and outputs. Let's configure this system to utilize this compressor in slot number three. I'll connect the ADAT output of my audio interface to the ADAT input of the 500 chassis so that the audio can be sent to the compressor. And I'll connect the ADAT output of the 500 chassis to the ADAT input on the audio interface so the audio can return after being processed. In this scenario, there's data being transferred in both directions. This means I can send up to eight channels from my interface to my rack, and up to eight channels from the rack back to my interface. It also means we can use the clock within either device. I just need to choose which one I want to use and configure each device accordingly. In the DAW, I can now create an insert on the track that I wish to send to the outboard compressor. I'll select ADAT output three as the hardware send sending audio to slot three on my 500 series chassis, and I'll select ADAT input three as the hardware return. Three of the main limitations of ADAT are one, it only supports up to eight channels, two, it's limited to a five meter distance, and three, the connections are point to point, which means signals can only be sent between two devices per ADAT connection. That's why we could only use eight of the 12 mic preamps on the 12 mic Dante. And that's why we needed to disconnect the 12 mic Dante in order to use the 500 series insert. There are, however, devices that have multiple ADAT inputs and outputs. In some cases, these are strictly for sending more channels at a higher sample rate. But in the case of other interfaces, such as the RME Digiface USB, 
each ADAT connection is independent from the others. That means that this bus-powered USB interface is capable of 32 channels in and 32 channels out via ADAT. Swapping out the Babyface Pro FS with the Digiface USB, I can now send audio to and from all eight slots of my 500 chassis and make better use of the 12 mic Dante preamp. With one optical ADAT connection between the 12 mic Dante and the Digiface USB, I can receive eight channels. With two ADAT connections, I can receive 16 channels. And with three ADAT connections, I can receive 24 channels. But there are only 12 preamps on the 12 mic Dante, so where do those other 12 channels come from? This is where the power of this particular preamp becomes even more apparent, because it allows you to route MADI and Dante channels through the ADAT connections. But in order to really understand how powerful this is, we first need to better understand MADI and Dante. MADI allows you to send up to 64 audio channels at 48 kilohertz sample rate, and just like ADAT, you can use a higher sample rate with lower channel counts. MADI really shines in its distance capabilities. You can send signals up to 100 meters with a coaxial cable, up to 2,000 meters with multi-mode fiber, or up to 10 kilometers with single-mode fiber. MADI ports are found on many digital live sound consoles, and it's commonly used for sending signals between the stage box and front of house console at a live show. Also, the fact that MADI connectivity is built into many live consoles makes it a great choice for creating multi-track recordings of live shows. You just need an audio interface that's MADI capable. Right here, I've got a USB interface, the RME Digiface Dante. It has word clock ports that can be used as MADI ports. If I connect my interface to my computer via USB, it would allow me to connect a MADI-enabled console with a single coaxial cable to record up to 64 channels straight off the board. Similarly, I could connect the 12 mic Dante microphone preamp to the MADI input on the Digiface Dante interface and record all 12 channels. You can also create a MADI loop where we could string together several 12 mic Dante units or any other MADI enabled devices that we might be working with. Input or output devices could be used in a MADI loop where all 64 channels are available to each unit. MADI can also be used to bridge between different protocols. I hinted at this when discussing the 12 mic Dante and the Digiface USB. Imagine a 12 mic Dante being a part of a MADI loop with several MADI devices connected. You could configure the 12 mic Dante to output up to 24 of those MADI channels through the three ADAT outputs on the 12 mic Dante and into the ADAT inputs on the Digiface USB to record into a DAW or a live stream. MADI is also powerful as an interface to audio over IP protocols like AVB or Dante. This could be useful if your device is MADI enabled, but you want to connect to an AVB or Dante network. Using a tool like the 12 mic Dante and a MADI USB interface, such as the RME MADI face USB, you could receive up to 64 channels and send up to 64 channels over a Dante network even though your interface isn't Dante enabled. In this way, the 12 mic Dante could act as a bridge between a Dante network and a MADI connection on your audio interface. In my opinion, the most exciting of any of these protocols is Dante. The reason for this is that Dante is an IP protocol, meaning that it operates on an IP network. This, of course, means that you'll need a network switch to connect all the devices together, but once you've got them connected, the power and flexibility of Dante is astounding. Let's set up a simple Dante network to demonstrate this. I'll connect the RME 12 mic Dante and the RME Digiface Dante using a simple managed network switch and a couple of Ethernet cables. I'll also connect my laptop to this network and open up the free Dante controller software. Once all of these devices are on the network and have proper LAN settings, I can see each Dante transmitter on the X axis and each Dante receiver on the Y axis. All I need to do now is expand the available channels on the devices I want to connect and click the cross point where I'd like to make an audio connection. It's that simple. And the flexibility, monitoring, and redundancy offered by Dante is amazing. If the devices are disconnected from the network, the audio routes will be restored automatically when the devices are reconnected. 
And if any new device is connected, the Dante network will automatically elect a source clock that all of the other devices on the network will follow. You can even run two separate networks on the primary and secondary port of each device to create redundancy in the event of a network failure. Should one network be interrupted, the devices will switch to the secondary network so seamlessly and quickly that it's not even noticeable. This is all true for a standard Dante setup, no matter which equipment you're using. But the RME Digiface Dante in particular has a couple of features that make this setup even easier. First, the Digiface Dante allows you to access Dante controller through the USB connection between your computer and interface, rather than through a dedicated LAN connection between your computer and network switch. Second, you may have noticed that the Digiface Dante has four network ports. This device can function as a Dante network switch, which means you can connect Dante devices directly to the Digiface Dante rather than to a dedicated network switch. It can act as a two port switch in redundancy mode when utilizing a primary and secondary network, or it can act as a four port switch when redundancy isn't needed. While ADAT requires a point to point connection between devices and MADI requires a point to point or loop connection, Dante operates on a much more flexible star topology where each device connects to a central network. This means that devices can be added with a simple network connection and you can easily expand your system over time. Let's say I want to record Ernesto's drums. I could connect the 12 mic Dante directly to my Babyface Pro FS for eight inputs, or I could connect the 12 mic Dante to the Digiface USB for up to 12 inputs. But I'd prefer to put the drum kit in another room so I can monitor the audio more easily from an isolated room upstairs. The distance limitation of ADAT is five meters or about 16 feet, so ADAT won't accommodate this setup. Instead, I could put the 12 mic Dante next to the drum kit and run a pair of coaxial cables up to the Digiface Dante connected to my computer via USB in an isolated room upstairs. This is well within the distance limitations of MADI and would allow me to receive all 12 channels and even send Ernesto a headphone mix with the built-in headphone amp on the 12 mic Dante over MADI. I could do a similar thing with Dante. With everything connected to the network switch, I can open up Dante controller and route the 12 channels from the 12 mic Dante to the first 12 input channels on the Digiface Dante interface and then route Dante output channels one and two from the Digiface Dante to input one and two on the 12 mic Dante, selecting those channels as the source for the built-in headphone amplifier. I just need to create a headphone mix for Ernesto in the DAW or in Total Mix and send that mix to Dante output one and two. You may have noticed that some of these RME interfaces have USB 2.0 connections, some have USB 3.0 connections, and some even have Thunderbolt connections. In the next video that's on your screen now, you'll learn how they decide which one to use for each interface. I'll see you over there.